Hey everybody, it's Sam. Um, going to be doing a, qu a couple of videos over today, um, which I'll be uploading over the space of today, tomorrow and the next day, etc. Um, this video is going to be done on the Quadrant and also Linpack. So, you can get a rough indication of obviously what you know, the scores are going to be. So, I will go into the phone first of all. So we shall go into the phone and we shall go to Quadrant. So I'm using Quadrant standard. Now I do understand some people say obviously it's not optimised for, for both cars. Um, but obviously that's going to be the same for every dual car phone on the market. So it is a, a, fair, a fair test let's say. So we will run the full benchmark. While it's going through this, um, just to make everybody aware, um, the best place to ask me questions or to request things will be on Twitter because um, I'm getting quite a few uh, PMs and obviously messages in the comments so if you get me up on Twitter it's a bit easier and quicker for me to reply back on there so if you could do that it would be much appreciated um, I am going to be doing a head to head with this against the Galaxy S2 so everybody keeps asking don't worry about it it is, it is going to be on its way um, I just don't think it's fair to do a comparison without actually fully knowing about the phone. Um, same for a full review. I've had quite a few of when's the full review going to be up. Now, again, I'm not the kind of person that wants to have the phone for 12 hours and then go, here's the full review without actually testing it fully. So I'd, I'd rather test it for a day or two, at least, you know, at least, at least two days, let's say, and then give uh, an indication. So we'll just get back into the quadrant here. And the score that it comes in with, I can get it to focus on that. As you can see, it's just under 2,000. So it's not too bad. Um, no, it's relatively, you know, pretty pretty decent. Um, I've run this test a couple of times, and I'm getting roughly around that score every time. Um, I have seen people in next year getting a bit more. Some people a bit less. So um, swings and roundabouts, as they say. But I'm getting roughly about 2,000 every time I do it. So that's quadrant. And what we'll also do is we'll do a limb pack. So we shall just find it first of all. And it is there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this three times like I've done with other mobile devices as well. So as an example, the Desire S and the Galaxy S2. So we'll zoom in on this part here first of all, because obviously you'll see, get a better look of it. should be focusing so we we'll run it and on the first test we get 45.886 megaflops with a time of 1.83 and a normal res of 5.68 and you can read the precision too long so we'll do another test and this one it's actually gone down a little bit it's 45.836 um, with a time of 1.83 and obviously 5.68 again and the final test for Limpack is 46.782 with a time of 1.79 seconds and the normal res is 5.68 so you know not bad um, you know I have had um, better results on say the Galaxy S2 and the Desire S were not, were not far behind these ones here so it could be that these applications are not obviously fully optimised for the new processes going forward. But it's the only thing we can call a current test at the moment. So that's just been a quick look at the benchmarks in Quadrant Standard and also Limpack. Again, any questions, Twitter's the best place to contact me. Um, and I shall speak to you in my next video. Oh yeah, don't forget, like the video. Cheers.